You asked and I delivered. I'm here on Pluto and I'm gonna give you three reasons why Pluto is a planet, baby. Why? Because someone's gotta stick up for this little guy. Look at him, he's so cute. Analyzing conditions. Atmosphere, nitrogen, traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Current temperature, minus 232 degrees Celsius. Ooh, uh, yeah, oof, that's chilly. Well, that makes sense. Pluto is six billion kilometers away from the sun. <laughs> so what makes a planet a planet? It's literally just three things. The first condition is that it has to orbit a star. Uh, check please. The sun is barely visible from here, but it's there and Pluto orbits it. So Pluto one, a hater zero. Distance to the sun, 5,867,639,023 kilometers. Exactly. It's like 0.1% the brightness here that you've got over there on Earth. It's really dark, right? Hey, I think I see some mountains over there. Gotta check them out. Remember that time we watched Mean Girls? Negative. You know, it got me thinking about like every time I've been bullied or rejected by all those alien hotties I ask out. I mean, <clears throat> that's not important. And no one has been more bullied than Pluto. For like 80 years it was considered a planet. And then, like, out of nowhere, it becomes a dwarf planet? Like, what's up with that? Thanks, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Pluto was disqualified as a planet due to the discovery of large objects around its orbit. Who didn't they punish back then? First Lindsay Lohan, then Britney Spears, then Pluto loses its status. Man, the 2000s were cruel. Cool. Yeah. This is definitely a mountain, and that's something a planet would have. The presence of landscape elevation is not part of the planet definition specified by the International Astronomical Union. Uh, but I mean like, all right, but what if the mountains have water ice? I mean, look at this stuff. That is ice. Many non-planetary bodies feature these landscape traits. Right, right, yeah, yeah, I mean, I knew that from my various trips to moons and the suches. All right, I tried to score some points for Pluto here, but Rico is being real annoying with his International Astronomical Union or whatever. But he's right. There are technically three criteria for a planet to be a planet. And number two is that it needs enough mass and gravity to form into a sphere. Some asteroids out there have wild shapes. None of them are flat though. Sorry, flat earthers. You guys are still wrong. There's a comet shaped like a bone and a cigar, and uh, uh, this one looks like a rubber ducky. <laughs> That's a good one. So all of these wild shapes occur because they don't have enough gravity to turn into a sphere shape. But Pluto, a does. I mean, look at it. It's round. Pluto two, haters double zero. Speaking of haters, I uh, read some of your comments the other day, and uh, gotta say, some of you hurt my feelings. You think I'm AI? There's no artificial intelligence in this handsome space explorer. Everything you see is real. Go over to Patreon, see what I mean. Now, back to Pluto. You are forgetting the third criterion for planet qualification. A celestial body must have enough gravitational force to clear the area in its orbit. Pluto shares its orbit with small, icy bodies in the Kuiper Belt, so it cannot be classified as a planet. Pluto's orbit crosses that of another planet. That's no kind of behavior for a planet. Pluto had it coming from the beginning. Just, like, get over it. Two out of 
three ain't enough? Ugh, man, the Astronomical Union are such gainers. I mean, Pluto has enough mass and gravity to form it into a sphere, but not enough to impact the objects around it? Ugh, seems pretty arbitrary to me. So basically, it got kicked out of the Planetary Cool Kids Club for being too skinty? Ugh. Oh, oh. Whoa! Rico! You're supposed to warn me about these kind of things! Bad things tend to happen to me! Acknowledged. Danger. Crater detected in front of you. Are you serious? Yeah, I see the crater, Rico. Thanks. Damn! Look at this thing, it's huge! Craters on Pluto range up to 260 kilometers in diameter. Whoa! Isn't that like half the size of this boulder? Pluto is 2,376.6 kilometers wide. That's two thirds the diameter of the moon. What? 2,400 kilometers? I mean, like, I could walk that in four days. Inaccurate. I mean, okay, maybe not walk, but if I ran, I could for sure do that in four days. The average maximum run speed of a humanoid is eight kilometers per hour. You are well below average human. <laughs> okay, okay, Rico, all right, enough of that. It's still a very small planet, though. Still not a planet, but yes. Right, so Pluto's giving dwarf planet, so we just need to figure out a way to bulk it up. Give it a little ass steroids, you know? Make it a heavyweight champ. Oh, I've got it. Pluto lives in the Kuiper Belt, the region of space just beyond Neptune's orbit, and that place has a ton of icy objects and asteroids. Some of these guys are pretty big. I mean, not big enough to be called planets, but maybe if we put them all together, we could make the biggest planet of all time! <laughs> Calculating the likelihood of creating the biggest planet of all time. 0.0005%. Rico, buzzkill, okay? I was being hyperbolic. I cannot compute tone. Okay, well, not the biggest planet of all time, but bigger than it is today. <sighs> Let's see, um, if you, okay, so you gotta take that mass at the, Uh, okay, actually, I don't want to do this math. Rico, calculate Pluto's mass if it absorbed every object in the Kuiper Belt. New mass would be 6 times 10 to the power of 23 kilograms. New diameter would be 8,500 kilometers. Yeah, okay. Well, that's okay. Well, that's super clear, but maybe also just for the uh, people in the audience who didn't get that, could you s explain it better? Pluto would have a greater mass than Mercury, and almost as great a mass as Mars. It would be wider than many planets, including Mercury and Mars. Yes, let's freaking go, baby! That would definitely make this a planet classification. Rico, let's make this happen. Assessing risk. Disastrous consequences foreseen. Uh, once again, Rico, you insist on being a buzzkill, okay? We're trying to make a planet here. Who knows? Maybe it could even be habitable. Extremely unlikely. Slow rotation suggests no magnetosphere. Location far outside the habitable zone of the sun. No hard evidence of an existing ocean. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, okay, I see your point on this one. What the heck? What is this? Get, get it? Who? Okay, someone needs to fire this editor. Ah, but still, we could deliver Pluto justice. Bring it back to the mainstream. Everyone deserves a second chance. Like Lindsay Lohan with those Netflix movies. She's killing it. So it's clear that Pluto is currently not a real planet. It's a dwarf planet. Sorry, I know this must be disappointing. But not to worry, I have a plan to make Pluto a true planet. Disastrous consequences foreseen. Okay, 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 okay. Disastrous this, disastrous that. What is it that you are so concerned about, Rico? Pluto and Neptune cross orbits at two points. Currently, they are in orbital resonance, which means their orbits are locked in a repeating pattern, preventing them from ever getting too close and colliding. If one gravitational force changes, the planets risk collision and absolute destruction of the solar system may ensue. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. 
you know, I really thought we could find a redemption arc for this little guy, you know? I thought he was big enough. I thought he could go the distance, but I guess not all fallen heroes are meant to be redeemed! Hazard detected. 